Welcome in all my friends. How you doing? This is Lazy Retired Granny here. Today's date is Sunday, April 2nd, 2023. And it's about 1.30 in the afternoon here in Salem, Oregon. So it's been a rainy day today. Negan came down and played with Ellie for a little bit. Negan is my son's dog. And when he escapes <laughs> from um, he comes running down here to play with, with um, Ellie. So I sat outside with him for about 20 minutes and let him romp around and Get a little bit of exercise in in between rain showers so Ellie had a good time she's laying on the couch taking a snooze right now I have not got a lot of this section done today unfortunately about 10 o'clock this morning, I started getting a headache that turned into a migraine. And when I get my migraines, I can't see. It's just spots. So I took some of my medication and Ellie and I laid down for a few hours. And about two and a half hours, I guess. And I got some sleep off and on. That's about all I can do when I get a migraine is drink lots of water, take a migraine pill, and just lay down. And because I don't do well with any type of medications. They just make me go to sleep. That's about what happened. But yeah, it really zaps the energy out of me when I have one of those. <clears throat> but at least I can see again. I'm still a little tired, but... Um, I'm just trying to get myself woke up again and like I said we just woke up and Negan came down so I sat outside for I don't know 15-20 minutes with them I don't get my migraines like what I used to when I was working. And my migraines are triggered by stress and the light. And I think what happened this morning is that it's been rather dark and gloomy with just a little bit of sun coming through here and there. And this morning, that sun just came blasting through the patio door and I was facing towards it. Yeah, I have, my eyes are very light sensitive and <clears throat> I have to wear some type of sunglasses all year long. The 
because my eyes are so sensitive. What was that? Oh. Um, sorry. <laughs> I thought I saw something outside. Um, so I'm assuming that's probably what it was. But since I retired 10 years ago, I bet I haven't had a handful of migraines. My job that I had was to be very, very stressful. And yeah, it was, I had to keep the pills handy at all times. <laughs> Yeah, it was a very demanding job, just... So, but anyway, don't have to worry about those days anymore. So I don't know if I'm going to be making my stroganoff today. I may just end up um, having a soup and sandwich, just something kind of light. But I did get through a few videos. Um, I'm all caught up. Well, I was all caught up with... Jeffrey Morrison but I saw that I think he's put up another video let me check he's really putting them out today yep he's got another one on there <laughs> oh my goodness such a character Yeah, some days he puts on two or three whipping chats. He likes to do his canvases with whipping chats. And I, you know, I thoroughly agree with, with what he says. That's kind of the reason why I like doing it too, is it just, it connects you to... The community, number one. But you don't know who is sitting out there by themselves, doesn't have somebody to talk with or someone to talk to them. And wow, you can just go right to YouTube and find somebody chatting away that you may have some interest with or tells funny stories or you know, whatever. It's just nice to have a friendly voice sitting there while you're diamond painting. Even if that person talks nothing but nonsense. <laughs> like me sometimes. <laughs> I don't think I'm a very interesting person, but you know what? I'm just sitting here chattering. You guys keep me company, too. <laughs> I enjoy sharing 
this craft with other people. And to me, this is a craft that anybody could enjoy. It's just, you can follow directions. And when I do a craft, this is, this is one of them. I have no talent for um, thinking up stuff myself, but I think that's why I like this so much. Just follow along and you have a masterpiece. Plus you get to see other people's work when they're done, you know, from canvases that um, are maybe something you'd like to do or ones that are no longer available. It's nice to see canvases of days gone by. <laughs> Diamond painting has not been around that long. It's only been, I think, maybe the last six or seven years that it was kind of came to the United States and and then I don't know it just I mean diamond painting's been around but not like this it's been, it was a different type of painting and yeah so this actually is a relatively new craft And it's developed rapidly. Wow. All the different canvases and huge artworks now that people, people can purchase. And and do and hang up. Yeah. And, you know, it's not a craft for everybody. Some people just would not have the patience. I think you do have to have some patience with diamond painting. But yet, it's relaxing. Kind of weird like that. I'm sure there's other crafts that are the same way. It may come easy to some and not to others. <coughs> Excuse me. Sort of like my knitting. I love to knit, but don't give me anything complicated. I'm not knitting sweaters or clothes. I'm, that's just not, it's too much for my brain to handle. But I love doing blankets, afghans, um, shawls, um, Scarves, washcloths, dish towels. What else do I knit? I do not knit sweaters. I do not knit mittens. I can knit hats, but not something that I enjoy. I'd rather have... I think what it is, is I don't enjoy knitting in the round, so, but on the other hand, I cannot crochet, oh my gosh, 
I'm all thumbs when it comes to crochet. And it might be because of the way that I knit. I'm an English style knitter, not continental. So I throw my yarn. And in crochet, I believe you only use one hand to <laughs> to crochet and you hold the yarn a different way or something. I don't know. <laughs> I hope this doesn't come upside down because I just realized that my camera may be upside down. I don't know. I'll find out. If it does, I'll just erase it and redo it. But, yeah, I have tried several times to crochet. And I learned to knit when I was in junior high. In the seventh grade, we had a home ec class. And... They taught us how to knit, but not crochet, which I find that rather interesting. I wonder, maybe crocheting wasn't a thing? I don't know. You would think it would have been. Yeah, they taught us knitting sewing, cooking, some other various little things, but yeah, no crocheting. Kind of strange. Oh my gosh, I remember you had to take gym class, and for us, we had to wear white. White shorts, White t-shirt, white sweatshirt, white tennis shoes, no other color, just white. And yeah, we had to learn all kinds of sports. Now... I think it's different, at least in the schools here. I don't even know. We had to take showers after gym class. And I don't think they have to do that anymore. Oh, yeah, and I remember, too, we'd have to take half a semester of dance and dance with boys. <laughs> we had to learn, you know, like the Texas two-step or something, I don't know, some ballroom dancing and whatnot. <laughs> I don't know if they still do that or not. I rather enjoyed that. I did that during the winter time. And remember when, you know, we had to start each gym class with exercises, jumping jacks and 
Good old days, huh? Yeah, I think now, I don't even know if they have to dress down for Jim anymore. If they even have to take a gym class. Well, after 12 days off, we start, the boys start back to school tomorrow, so I drop them off in the morning and then go into town and get my stuff done. Do my banking. I think I will just make soup and sandwich for dinner today. I'm still feeling a little zapped. Don't want to overextend myself. <laughs> be in top form tomorrow when I go into Hobby Lobby and race over to the diamond paintings. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that they're having a sale. I'm going to ask one of the clerks how often they put those on 40% off. Yeah, even at 40% off, I think that's a good deal. I know the painting that I was looking at when I was there before, I think it was, oh, my 30 minutes is up. Is it? No, I'm at 23 minutes. The painting that I was looking at before there, I think was about 60 bucks. So, still not as good as my $17 that I paid before, but... If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If not, I'll wait. I think they change their sales every Monday. But since people are still getting clearance paintings, makes me wonder if they don't bring them out every now and then. I don't know. I don't know anything about Hobby Lobby, so. I'm 
Joanne's is just down a ways from Hobby Lobby, so but they didn't seem to have anything but diamond dots. At least my, did I say jo uh, Joanne's? Um, at least my Joanne's doesn't. And I don't know about Michael's, and I am not driving to Michael's. That's, oh my gosh, 20 miles away from me. Yeah, we only have one Hobby Lobby in town. And I think the next closest one is about 30 miles away. And I don't know anybody in that city to have them go check it out. I mean, if they had some, I might consider it. But I don't want to drive 30 miles only to find out they don't have anything. <coughs> Excuse me. Or nothing on clearance. So, yeah, but I don't know anybody in that city so to go check for me. Yes, they had them on clearance at another Hobby Lobby. It would be well worth it to make the drive. Miss Whip and Tail. She, Ellie's so funny. I keep the door, top door open where I have my drills. And so when I'm diamond painting, she comes over and she takes her face and she closes the drawer so she can be next to me. <laughs> I think she's wanting to go back outside for a little bit. It's not raining. She's dancing around here. So my 30 minutes is just about up. So I'll get this uploaded and onto YouTube. And I'll take her outside and then come back in and finish up this little bit of section that I have to do. And I can get busy on this side. So, I will talk with y'all later. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.